We haven't squirreled a night, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Squirrel, catch clean and cook edition. What's up, guys? It's Jay the Fat Fisherman coming back at you again. Tonight, I'm going to cook up some squirrel rice and gravy. And I'm going to make it the simplest and easiest way. And if you're from the South, you love rice and gravy anyway. So why not add a little bit of squirrel meat to it, right? So, anyways, I got my squirrel. And the only thing I'm going to use is uh, pepper, garlic salt, and to spice things up, a little bit of Old Bay. And I'm going to show you how to do this right now. All right. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to parboil your squirrel for about five minutes. Bring it up to a nice hot hard boil. And what that's going to do is that's going to release a bunch of the yuckiness and maybe some of the hair that didn't come off whenever you cleaned your squirrel. Um, it'll just bring all that stuff right out in about five minutes on a hard boil. Then you dump that water out. And uh, that's about it. So we'll get this rolling. And we'll put our squirrel in. Shit! Ah! Get overboiled! Hang on! Now we're just gonna dump the water and the meat out the sink for a second. Ah. I'm just gonna rinse off these squirrels with some cold water just to lower their temperature down just a little bit until we get the water boiling again I'm also making sure that everything is off of them all that disgusting stuff uh, like the hair this one I got right in the shoulder now use a pellet gun pellet gun blew his freaking shoulder right off Okay, these guys are good to go. I don't see any hairs. Yeah, a couple of hairs. Not bad. Alright. I don't see any more hair. Alright, we'll just let these guys sit for now. And I'm going to bring that pot back up to a boil. All right, this water's coming up to a boil now. So I'm gonna go ahead and season it up a little bit. That way my meat's got some seasoning when it comes out. Once it gets up to a rolling boil, I'm gonna turn it on its lowest position and put the squirrel back in. All right, now it's boiling. Let it boil for a couple of seconds. Make sure the water's nice and hot. And I'm gonna put it on the very, very lowest setting I got. My stove doesn't have simmer, it's just got low, so. We'll go ahead and add the squirrel now. That's one. Do. Trace. Cover it up. Boom. Set the timer. Three hours. No. Start. I think we're all set. See you in three hours. Those guys are simmering. They've been in there for about 30 minutes. I'm probably going to add 30 minutes to it and make it three and a half hours simmer time. But in the meantime, uh, until I get all this ready, if you guys want to check out the video on how I shot and cleaned these squirrels, uh, check this out and come back and uh, we'll do a taste test.
Now I know what you guys are thinking. Probably thinking, if you live on the river, why aren't you fishing? And the fish just aren't biting right now. In its squirrel hunting season. There's a squirrel over there in that tree. I'm trying to keep it down. I'm watching him. He's watching me. We're going to go ahead and uh, try to get that bad boy. I'll set you down. If you could see him, he's right up there. I think I got him. Good clean shot to the head, right there. That was a good shot. Now all we gotta do is clean him and I got a couple more. And we're gonna make some squirrel rice with gravy. Come on over, I'll show you how we clean him. Now, I have tried to sharpen this knife a billion times and it's pretty damn sharp. But I cannot cut the height of the squirrel with this. So, I've been having to use my fish and filet knife. But uh, yeah, I ran into some trouble on the uh, second squirrel. So this time I'm gonna do it the old fashioned style. So just bear with me, it's not that bad. Okay, so what you wanna do, is go ahead and pluck some of this off so you know where you're cutting. Cut right behind the tail. Try not to get too much underneath. Make a couple little slices this way and this way. Okay. You can break the tail if you want. Now, I'm just gonna step on his tail, grab him by the hips. All right, here we go. All right. So, when you get to the front, just stick your finger in, push his leg out, put your thumb underneath here. Pull it out to the paw. Same on the other side. And pull enough. And then we'll go ahead and cut around this neck. And cut his head off. Pretty much the same thing. Should have just a little bit left over. Not a whole lot. It's a pretty good sized female. Let's cut that tendon right there. We'll go ahead and do both. Right there on the back. And I guess I could break it first. There we go. Bottom. Alright, now for some reason his anus wanted to start coming out. So 
Now it's time. What you gotta do is you gotta bust this pelvic region right here. Just bust it right to the backbone, right there. And then get your sharp knife, go right up the middle. Don't hit any organs. Once you get to that breastplate, you know, cut through that breastplate. Scoop out everything. Take the lint pipe. All the way down to the butthole. Alright, now. If you're into eating livers, have at it. I'm not. I'm going to go rinse this guy off. And uh, then we'll soak him. And there we go. There we go. Let's put him in this pot of cold water. Let him soak for a while. That'll help whatever hairs I missed come off. Kind of bleed them out a little bit. That's pretty much how you clean a squirrel. All right, I'm gonna clean up, and uh, that's a wrap. And I'll show you what I'm gonna cook. No, that's just good. That's plain good. You can't argue that. Oh man, that smells good. Oh yeah. A lot of that meat is falling right off the bone. Look at that. Put this in here. Temporarily. Oh, it is hot. Get all that meat. Now I'm going to save some of the broth for the roux gravy, but I'm not going to use a lot of it because... It's hard to make a roux gravy with uh, hot water. Tons of meat. Oh my god. This is gonna be a feast. This is gonna last me like a week. Alright, this is gonna be hot, but I'm gonna start dispatching the meat. Make sure there's no bone in there. Put it on here. Mm -mm. Try to get all that meat. The bones go in the bowl. folks that's three squirrels all right we're gonna start adding some flour you don't want to add too much flour you don't want it to burn you want it to be like a, a creamy color you want to break down that oil to where it's not necessarily clumpy, but you you got to get it to where it's not too much oil. When you add that water, or in my case, we're going to add a little bit of that squirrel broth to it. It's kind of got to be a little bit dry. You definitely want to fry that flour up, though. You don't want your gravy tasting like flour. You almost want it like uh, 
a paste, really. And it's starting to definitely turn into a paste. Now the big deal is, when you're adding any liquid into oil, you got to stir it really fast. While that's simmering, we're going to go ahead and add some squirrel meat. And basically, the water's just got to kind of boil out. And that's where you get your thickness of your gravy. So we'll keep stirring this until it's done. There it is, folks. Squirrel rice and gravy. Let's give it a little mix. A little taste test. That is probably the best rice and gravy I've ever had. All right. Well, anyways, um, I haven't taken my channel off to a different venue or anything like that. I'm still Jay the Fat Fisherman, but the fish are not biting right now. Um, so I decided to go ahead and do a little squirrel hunting. Um, easy recipe. All you need is squirrel, rice, oil, flour and some seasonings whatever you want but um oh man this is too good hot 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 mm. but if you like this video and if you would if you don't mind mm, little bone Please, by all means, share this with some people. You don't know what you're missing out on with wild game, uh, small game, large game, doesn't matter. Um, fishing, you know, fish is fish. You got your different flavors and everything like that, but with uh, wild game, oh my God, it is totally different. So share this with whoever you want to. Let's see if we can get, I don't know, 50 likes out of this video. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. We'll do more cooks like this. And, uh, you know, I do catch, cook, and clean with crabs and fish. And that's mostly my channel, but couldn't pass up on the squirrel. So smash that like button. Hit the share, and please subscribe to my channel, because this is good, and I'm going to come up with some more. Alright, Jada Fat Fisherman signing out.